Hello guys, this is your Ali Solanki and today in this video, we'll be talking about how to create a website using no-code platforms. Within just 5 minutes, you will have your website ready. So let's head over to my laptop and we'll be doing every single thing right from designing the website to even hosting it on a domain and getting the website ready. So here we are on my laptop screen and this is the website that we'll be hosting today. This is Watermelon Gang's uh, website and this is something that we've created completely on Framer. So I'll teach you the entire steps of how to create a website using Framer and then how to host it on your own custom domain. Right now, the website that we have on the custom domain, which is the watermelongang.com, is this particular site. Now this looks fabulously good and I've created it as well, but we'll be changing it, we'll be updating it with the new website, which has every single thing we have everything listed over here from our work to our results and our prices and everything. So we'll be listing this particular website, we'll be publishing this website and let's see how to do that. First of all, just go over to framer.com. Okay, this is the platform that we'll be using. Now I already have created the basic template and the website uh, which I want to publish. If you haven't done that, you can even just go over to Google, search for Framer themes and here you'll find 1000 plus themes that you can directly use. Now these are all themes that you know, there are some themes which are paid but uh, you can even use the free ones. Over here you can see all the free themes and it's pretty good like you have portfolio websites, you have uh, agency websites, even if you're launching a SaaS product, if you have a business idea in mind, you just want to launch it, you just want a, a landing page for it, just come over here, Framer is the site for you. So let's understand the uh, entire process. Now I am not sponsored by Framer, this is not a sponsored video and I'm just doing this because I will be making my own website on it. So let's actually uh, look at how we can publish this particular website, how we can make this website on Framer. So once you are there on Framer.com, just create a new project. Now, because I already have a project over here set up, so I'll use that project instead. If you want to use a template, as I said, you can directly use a template as well. Just click on it and then use it for free or first preview it. So over here, I've seen many SaaS products use this particular theme as well. You might have seen, as, seen it as well, this particular nav bar uh, over here, features, how it works, testimonials. I've seen this a lot many times. So if you also have a SaaS product that you want to launch, you can probably go ahead and use this particular theme. Now, once you click on use it for free, you'll be basically taken over to a page like this. Okay, so what this is, is basically three main pages. One is the de desktop view, the second one is the tablet view, and the third one is the phone view. Okay, so you have all the three websites right there in one screen. And you can start editing it uh, the way you want. You can start changing up the uh, text, you can start adding new templates or some new components. Say for example, I want to add this particular carousal, right? So even this particular carousal was available directly in Framer. You don't have to make every single thing from scratch. You can just click on insert and it will give you all the things. It has different pages that you can use directly in your website. You can even use sections. So certain sections, say for example, you want a photo on the left side, right side you want certain details about it. You want two photos, two details, but you have different types of sections over here. We've used many of the sections in the website that we've created here. So you can actually spot the sections as well. Apart from that, you have the FAQ section. So that is something that we've used over here in our FAQs. Of course, you'd have to change the design according to your template and according to your preferences, but uh, it's very straightforward. Just use these templates, use these uh, components directly in your website. Apart from that, navigation is provided to you, menus are provided to you, everything is provided to you. Now, the best part about Framer and why I choose Framer is, first of all, it's animations. Just look at the website, you know, just when you start scrolling it, you'll see all the animations, the uh, website design, all of those things really help in making it a very good choice for creating a new website and that too in a very 
fast fashion so this particular website we didn't even take more than like 15 to 20 minutes to get this particular website done uh, apart from of course getting the assets made so if you have all the assets you have all the images you have everything sorted then making a website on framer it's very easy so now let's just go over back to our website builder you will see some elements over here now you can even add elements elements meaning you can add some countdown timers maybe some time maybe a wave pattern grid pattern all of these things are completely free to use for your website you can even add some media so say for example you have a video over here we have many videos that we have added these are all vimeo videos so we had just put it on vimeo and then use that link embedded it on our website you can even use youtube videos or upload a video by yourself you can add animations using lottie animations spotify apple music everything you want to launch a new song and want to make a landing page for it here you can do that as well even forms so many of the times what happens is when you create a landing page you also need a form for collecting emails for a newsletter or something else right maybe their details maybe their requirements all of those things you can directly do that and actually the best part is you can directly connect it with mailchimp so many people use mailchimp in order to send email marketing messages you can directly do that by connecting your form from here now icons very hard to find icons you keep on google searching each and every icon you can find them directly here then there are some interactive sec sections as well so there are certain local selector this is basically to change the entire website's language uh, to the preferred one then we have the cookies banner which is also uh, now this is a pro feature but cookies banner is actually essential if you're creating a website where you take users data or actually analyze it for uh, running ads apart from that we have the ticker slideshow carousel carousel i've actually used it on this website quite a lot this particular thing is a carousel apart from that this thing is a carousel so i've used it a lot many times over here then we have the social we can add google maps um, you know maps feature we can add instagram directly over here twitter facebook trust pilot everything is available over here now apart from that for the developers you can even add code blocks directly so if you're a developer you want to customize the website uh, according to your needs you can add your own code blocks you can directly make a section according to what you want uh, so there are a bunch of things as i said there are a lot of things that you can directly do with framer so uh, the next step that we'll be doing is actually hosting this website currently this website if you click on publish okay uh, framer will for free give you a domain on framer.app so this is your website completely made it's there live um, anyone can view it you can share this particular website link to anyone else and they can basically view it but over here there is also an option to add domain that is what we'll be doing right now so adding domain basically means adding a custom domain so over here we'll be adding the watermelongang.com as our custom domain so let's just copy this and click on add domain i'll show you the entire process of how to do that so connect a domain now in order to connect your custom domain you need to upgrade the website so we'll do that as well let's upgrade it okay uh, what is the cost yearly cost is 311 per month and monthly cost is 61 uh, 620 so let me just add the yearly part add site plan uh, for the workspace if you haven't added anyone else on your workspace which i have not added right now so it's completely for free so i'll just select the basic one right now and let's upgrade our site so let me just add these details in okay perfect so i have uh, done the subscription i have taken the subscription now let's just go back to sites and connect our domain okay so connect a domain of your own and let's add the watermelon gang dot com okay perfect now it will give me certain details that i need to add on my dns record so where are these dns records wherever you purchase your uh, particular domain from say for example it might be godaddy or anything else for me it is cloudfair because i've added it over there so just check where you've purchased your domain from and uh, where your dns records are stored 
so for me over here i'll see all of my dns records you can see that it's already connected to certain domains so that's where my website is hosted from so let me just change them so we have all these details let's just add it so a record will actually change then we have another a record just make sure to keep the proxy off and then the last one is the c name record for www and that is over here so all the three changes have been added to my dns records let's go back and let's see if it is connecting right now let's refresh it and it's done so custom domain it may take up to 48 hours but usually it takes around an hour to get it updated on your current domain so let's just click over here and wait for it to be done but by the time you watch this video the domain would have been updated so just go over to the watermelon gang.com and check it by yourself oh there it is uh, the website has been updated it didn't even take more than 5 minutes actually uh, the website is updated you can see this is on the watermelongang.com website the website is live we have all the videos all the processes our pitch deck results every single thing is present over here let me just refresh it for you there you go and yeah the website is done make sure to subscribe to this channel if you learned anything and be sure to let me know what type of videos you'd like to watch next i'll be making more such videos more such tech related videos as well as e-commerce videos so go check them out